The reason that rich kids get rich and the reason that 80% of billionaires come from above average income families is because the father and the mother pass on their contacts. And you think I'm making that up? If you ask Dr. David Buss, I once asked him, what's the number one thing a father is for? Because kids don't need fathers biologically, right? Because a mother can nurse, father doesn't contribute. He said two things, protection, a man can protect better than a woman in general. No offense to the women here, okay? But if shit happens in my house, I don't want two women showing up. I want two big motherfucking guys showing up with SWAT team guys, right? So protect. And the second thing, though, is that men, he said, around age 16 for thousands of years have passed on their contacts to their, to their children. So they've made introductions. Donald Trump, father, makes hundreds of millions of dollars selling Brooklyn real estate. When he's 17, 18 years old, Fred Trump went through the city of Manhattan, started having his son come to all the business meetings. Meet my son, Donald. Don't you think that's a big unfair advantage he had? He met every big developer. He met all the bankers that were gonna lend him money. And so the dad helped him some financially, but Donald Trump was from the introduction. That's something Dr. Buss blew my mind. I said, you're telling me it's not that the rich people can't how much money did Donald, uh, Bill Gates' father have? He was a millionaire in Seattle. So what's the most he could have given? Let's say he was worth $2 million. What's the most he could have given his son? He ain't going to give him all his money. So maybe Jeff Bezos' parents lent him hundred grand or hundred and fifty grand. That's not the thing. It's that the Bill Gates' dad was the most powerful lawyer in Seattle. I think it was Seattle. Where does Bill Gates live now? Where did he build Microsoft? What's a $2.7 trillion company? I promise you, Bill Gates still is dealing with guys that his dad introduced him to when he was 12. Because he built, started building a business at 12, 13. Warren Buffett, second generation Omaha, Nebraska. His father was, his grandfather is one of the most powerful judges. Who here would like a nice judge on your side? Imagine your dad is a judge in LA and you want to get into real estate. And he starts going around. Judges are powerful because they got the power to <laughs> destroy people's freedom. It's like, yo, meet my son, Raymond. Your honor, you know, he, one day he might want to do some real estate deals. You might want to answer the phone and lend him some money. So the dad doesn't act. It's not that rich parents give their kids money. They give them their contact book. So who here has that kind of parent? You have that kind of parent? Did they give you the address book? really good job when I got out of the military for this contract. Good. Now you need 150 fathers like that. Yeah. Imagine you have 150 fathers like Fred Trump. That's what I have. I was able to go. I was like the only person in Scandinavia that was allowed in during COVID. I went to live there during COVID because there was no lockdown. People were like, how'd you get in there? I'm like, I know people who know people. I walked into the Denmark airport with a they were like ban on all Americans. I walk in there up to customs. They're like, you can't come in. I'm like, I have a letter. And they're like, there you go, sir. Who's ever seen War Dogs? The bad, I mean, uh, Lord of War. Sorry, not War Dogs. Lord of War with Nicolas Cage. Yeah. It's the greatest ending of any movie. He arrests, he arrests like a, they arrest a uh, Nicolas Cage, who's a gun runner arms dealer. And at the end, the guy's like, I finally got you, Nicolas Cage. He's like, you're in, and he's in a cell. And Nicolas Cage goes, I have bad news for you. He's in about, about 30 minutes. A man's going to walk in here and he's going to be higher ranking than you. And he's going to set me free. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do. And you hear a general walking down and the general goes, a guy just joined my 100K program. Who's the, I told you he's the richest largest landowner in Europe. He owns $3 billion worth of real estate. He doesn't know anybody in America. I had to introduce him to people in New York. He's 65. So that's what I'm saying. It's hard to get networks. It's hard to get, but just one or two of the right people in your life and you now have the foundation, then you experiment and then you do this and then you exit. And then most people who exit never give credit to this part right here, you know? Donald Trump doesn't talk about that that much. He's like, I'm a great real estate person, but 
And then other people on the left accuse him of the wrong thing. You just got daddy's money, but that's not true. He had daddy's Rolodex. He had daddy's contacts on the phone. So if I have kids one day to my son or daughter, I'll be like, here you go. Here's my phone. But more importantly, I'm going to walk. You need 30 hours with all of them.